Good morning, everyone. Um, I have to confess that it's, um, physics is complicated, but biology is more complex. So I have a big challenge to present you 50 years of radiobiology research in 15 minutes. So please understand that I have to be very, very fast in order even to give you a glimpse, a moment of that what radiobiology is doing in regard to radio surgery. So what are our questions, our premises? The question is how does actually cancer biology affect treatment? What premises does radiotherapy have at all? And then to go to the modern time of radiotherapy and radiosurgery, I think um, the time will be enough just to, to uh, answer at least one or two questions in, the, in this manner. So um, remember please that we have to do a very complex biology, even when you when you have to deal with central nervous system, uh, remember the vasculature, remember the anatomy, just the basics because everything is somehow relating to these basics issues. So the question would be what premises, what premises does radiotherapy have? I had to deal with this issue in a small book some years ago um, in order to understand what postulates or what hypothesis we have for effectiveness of radiosurgery in brain lesions. So the, the main premises is of these four R's, uh, redistribution, repair, repopulation, and reoxygenation um, terms who have a long history of at least 50 years of research. So I have to do that now very, very short. The first um, researcher who dealt with these issues was Mr. Witters, even almost 50 years ago, who could show us that uh, there are um, principal um, understandings, principal issues who, which have to be understood in order to understand the effectiveness of radiotherapy and later on of radiosurgery. So he did a lot of modelings. Uh, I have no time to go into deep, but just to give you a glimpse that um, biology of radiosurgery is a very complex issue. Uh, it has a, a own logic. Logic means you have to do with statistics, with modeling, as you can see this here, a lot of experimentation, a lot of mathematics, biophysics, and at the end of the day, molecular biology. So this is the complexity of these issues, which one have to, has to understand while you're dealing with patients with brain lesions, be it metastasis or be it benign diseases in the brain, whatever you do in radiation therapy, you have to deal with the complexity of statistics, modelings, um, mathematics, biophysics, and stuff like that. So this is just a glimpse of that, what you can see. Uh, I uh, will not go into the deep of these issues. We have a lot of formals, but at the end of the day, was made some, um, we just told us that uh, we have to, um, we have to have in, 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 in the back of our mind that the effectiveness of radiation is not just a mechanical issue. It's a very complex biological issue. Therefore, all this of research. Um, 15 years later, Mr. Steele, which is now the, the father of radiobiology, tried to complete the work of Mr. Witters by another R. So Mr. Witters had four R's. Mr. Steele is just adding another one, which is the radio sensitivity. And then I go and show you just the same issue, the same procedure. He did a lot of modeling, a lot of experimentation, a lot of in vitro experimentation in the lab in order to show the complexity of the effectiveness and me mechanisms of uh, radiation um, into, into the body. So just uh, very short for you, redistribution is nothing else than with the cell cycle is affected by, by radiation. So radiation affect directly the cell cycle in which a uh, population of cells will be shifted into the more sensitive cycles. Just for you, I can show you this is maybe better and easier. You can see you have different cycles into the normal life of a cell and you have sensitive and non-sensitive issues. Our aim will be to get them in M and G2 in order to be sensitive to the radiation. The other R is reoxygenation, meaning 
that radiation, like chemotherapy, needs always well oxygenated cell populations in order to be effective, in order to affect the killing of these cells. So that means radiation has an effect on shifting cell populations from hypoxic to normal oxic populations in which um, will improve the uh, effectiveness of radiation. Another picture, just to honor to show you, what does it mean when you have um, some hypoxic cell populations after the radiation, you will have um, another generation of normal oxic, oxic cells, which are more sensitive to radiation. So that's a, the second R. The third R is repopulation, which means that um, cells tend, within a tumor, cells tend to have more heterogeneous structure. That means some of them are um, still, some of them are in dynamics and work together. So repopulation means what? Repopulations mean once you give a radiation to a tumor, a certain subpopulation within the tumor will have a faster repopulation by very complex molecular mechanisms. That means in case you do within a normal radiation therapy, a break of one or two weeks, that would be not good because the repopulation, meaning that the subclone of cells will be uh, um, accelerated, repopulated. So repopulation means it has a negative effect. The first two will be positive. The repopulation is a negative effect. And repair, this is the most negative effect. Once you do radiation and you can see that uh, DNA repair enzymes try to repair the double break in the DNA very, very fast. So that means you have to give radiation in a certain manner in order to affect or in order to, um, let's say, reach a high degree of cell killing. In order to reach a high degree of cell killing, you have to give a kind of fractionation so this is the basic of uh, the basic four hours of radiotherapy. We have to understand that otherwise it will be very compli complicated, all these issues. And the, se the, the fifth one, which was added by Mr. Steele, is the innate radiosensitivity. You have cell populations which are sensitive by a, their uh, molecular biological properties, and you have some non-sensitive that resistant populations. So you have always to defer. When you have a fibrosarcoma, you will have problems for radiotherapy. When you have a squamous cell of uh, esophagus, you will have very good sensitivity. So it always depends to have this idea of radio sensitivity uh, in your mind. So that will be the most important five R's in order to understand. So this is the classic book of Mr. Steele, which is still the book for understanding radiobiology. And um, I think um, you, you, I just give you a glimpse of the complexity of modeling of formulas we use. This is one formula we use very, very, very often at the normal days to understand the effect of, radio, um, of, um, of fractionation. Otherwise, normally at these days, we take this one. So you have a lot of software which are usable very easy in order to understand on in order to translate all these formulas into the smartphone, which makes our life very, very easy. And the first five years, I had to do a lot of work with my head. Now <laughs> the smartphone is, is making my life easier. So this is the modeling issues. And uh, let's say to go, uh, um, this is a kind of gathering of all these five R's, which are very important in order to understand the biology and how cancer biology affect treatment effects. The formula, and let's say one thing, one more thing, the problem will be, do we need all these R's in other sense? Yes, we need them. And um, the more we work on biology of uh, radio surgery and radiotherapy, the more complicated it gets. So that's life. And you can see that now we will have a, 
Number six of the hours, we had four hours with Mr. Witters. We had the fifth hour with Mr. Steele. Now we have a, another hour, which is the reactivation in the immune system. You see, it is getting more complicated and uh, we have to deal with that, all the issues. The, some of this is that we should consider more, maybe more things. So the question would be something else than the Rs. I would say yes. That's what I want to transmit very fast in the next uh, some minutes. The induction of vasculature changes, which radio surgery is doing, additionally to the five Rs, which are the classic five Rs. So changes at the vessels and the reactivation of the immune system. These are the most, let's say, uh, news in cancer biology in regard to radio surgery. So complicated again, this work was very, very seminal. Uh, Mr. Brown uh, from Stanford, Mr. Carlson from Yale, and the father of modern radiobiology, Mr. Brenner from um, uh, New York. So they did a very nice work some years ago in order to say, um, is this modeling of linear quadratic models enough, sufficient? Are these five Rs which are um, introduced by Mr. Witters and Mr. Steele enough? They said, yes, but we, have, we might have more effects. And that is these issues, especially with regard to vasculature within the brain, for example, and with immune system, which is a bit more complicated. So the, the best work done in this issue is from Zvi Fuchs, who was the, the chair of radiobiology in Sloan Kettering in New York, now in Champalimau and in, um, in Lisbon, um, who did with this work published in Science, the, the best work ever in, in regard to effects of radiotherapy, especially on convergent radiotherapy, thus radiosurgery and vasculature, in order to show that higher doses has got a different effect than lower doses, especially on vasculature, which might be effective in order to uh, micro environment of the tumor. And you can see the work is uh, going on, but the Sve Fuchs paper was the seminal work. Uh, uh, you have to mention it. And um, still again, you can see a long list of, of issues we have to deal with, but the conclusion is uh, that Maybe the modeling and the five R's are usable, are useful in order to understand biologic effects of radio surgery, but we have to add more factors. That's what I was saying that physics is complicated, but biology is really complex. So it's, it's going on. And you remember this is the structure of vasculature, um, a very complex issue, if, if, if you remember very well. So first message is, Changes in vasculature, for example, in the brain, have to do with the effects of radio surgery very explicitly. And you can see that we have the direct, um, let's say, direct effects of radiotherapy or radio surgery in, in, in brain lesions. And then you have indirect effects, which are stemming from the changes in vasculature. So, just in the most news, additionally to the five R's are changes in vasculature which may affect the, um, let's say, the, the, the functioning of radio surgery and brain lesions, be it metastasis, be it brain tumors, or even benign brain tumors. And still, as you can see, still the same complexity of the in, in inherent logics uh, with modeling, with the statistics, with experimentation, in order to understand the effect of high doses, high single doses, which cause vascular damage. So this is the main message actually for this seminar. Vascular damage is that what we have to be focused in the next, in the next times in order to understand biology of radio surgery. Again and again and again, I can show you another two hours of these papers, but I think the message is, is, has arrived in order to show what radiobiology of radio surgery uh, has to be um, re re reconsidered. And the second first news is uh, the immunogeneity concepts. That means how radio surgery affect the immune system in order to be effective. 
And still, here one of the most interesting works done some years ago in vitro, in, in, in a laboratory, in order to show that there are really effects of, of, of um, uh, single high doses, which you give normally in radio surgery, which um, has effects on tumor cells. The main message is here, uh, the, the, the T cells, especially the CD8 plus T cells seem to be at the date, to date, seems to be the key factor in order to reactivate the immune system. I know that um, the immune system in brain is something absolutely different than in the rest of the body, but we have to consider these issues because it's important to understand the effects of radio surgery. And somehow, very, very schematically, the effects, how radiation affects a tumor, which then presents antigens to dendritic cells, which then activate CD8 plus cells. So that is very easy because the time is limited, but I think the messages arrive an activation of cellular immunity has to have to be to be understood in order to understand radio surgery's effects. And then the complexity of biology, as you can see, a very complex biology of, of uh, immune system, which is going on at this moment. And we have systematic reviews. We have now soon meta-analysis, which show that immune system has been changed by radio surgery effectively. And uh, that's important news additionally to the vasculature changes. And but not, not least, just a nice work done by Mr. Fernando Herrera, Mrs. Herrera, in order to show how if effects in immune system will have effects in tumor. So that is the, let's say this the sum, vasculature changes in the immune system, which um, uh, uh, should be added to the five hours. And uh, when you want to understand the complexity of stereotactic radio surgery, for example, for brain, we should not forget that the immune system and the vasculature changes will be involved in all these issues. And this is the complex scenery, the last slide, just to show you what complexity we, ha we have to deal with. So take home message would be four hours are set, Mr. Witters, the fifth R by Mr. Steele is set to, even the sixth R. Radiation therapy, especially radiotherapy with high single doses induced vasculature changes, which has consequences, and RT inducing hemogeneity changes will be very important to be understood. Thank you very much.